Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Mark Landis. I am the Senior Director for Scientific Publications for Oncology R&D at AstraZeneca. It's my pleasure today to share with you um, our Open Pharma Data Sharing Survey on behalf of the Open Pharma Data Sharing Working Group. So the Open Pharma Data Sharing Working Group came together because of uh, anecdotal reports of challenges uh, in open sharing of our research data, which is increasingly mandated by regulatory bodies and particularly journals. The value of open sharing of research data is not disputed, but we have had experiences suggesting that there are challenges complying with journal data sharing policies. So to find out whether this was more widespread, we developed a survey to assess ease of compliance with journal data sharing requirements and identify shared challenges uh, to, to open data sharing. The idea was that if common and widespread compliance challenges were identified, we would work with relevant stakeholders to try to ease uh, and reduce barriers while still promoting and supporting ethical and responsible data sharing. So, we developed a 10 question online survey. We received uh, critical review and feedback from ISMAP and polished the survey accordingly. We disseminated the survey by Open Pharma and ISMAP and by email and social media. We sent the survey to anyone involved in submitting pharma sponsored research to a journal or who has developed or fulfilled data sharing statements. And all data sharing requests made by journals during peer review uh, and or post-publication were in the scope of the survey. So now I'll share with you the data we collected from the survey. So we had 101 respondents uh, to the survey. 71% of these respondents were from pharma companies and the remainder were from other companies involved in submission of pharma-sponsored research. Among the pharma company respondents, there was a broad representation of roles as you can see on the right-hand slide. The perception of strong open research policies was very positive, with 66% viewing it as an attraction or advantage in principle and an additional 7% viewing it as an unqualified advantage. However, 15% did consider it to be a disadvantage. Interestingly, on the right-hand side, we had a significant majority, 79% of respondents, who perceived current journal data sharing requirements to be challenging to implement, which is really very interesting considering the strong majority who believe a strong open research policy uh, would be an advantage. We asked about study and data types uh, that were aff affected by compliance challenges. And as you can see across the board for all study types, for all data types, we had significant majorities who agreed or strongly agreed that data sharing requirements could be refined. And we asked about drivers of compliance challenges, and we again had a significant majority um, of respondents who indicated um, various issues in terms of um, data sharing, uh, particularly data ownership on the left, very left-hand side, as well as patient privacy and patient consent concerns on the right-hand side. So some of the implications of these compliance challenges uh, included potential delays in study uh, publication, uh, as well as consideration in journal target uh, selection. And also we had a majority of respondents who indicated that compliance challenges could potentially lead to manuscript withdrawal and having to start over with resubmission to a different journal. So overall, this slide indicates that there was a strong a majority of survey respondents who felt, in fact, that problems with journal data sharing um, requirements could lead to publication delays. And, and ultimately, this is not what we want. We'd like to get our data disseminated in a timely manner. So in summary, among the survey respondents, compliance challenges with journal data sharing policies were common and widespread, uh, reflecting the anecdotal evidence uh, from the data sharing working group. And we believe that there is a need for collaborative work to address these barriers while still promoting ethical data sharing. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank the Open Pharma Data Sharing Working Group, as well as in particular the colleagues from Oxford Pharmagenesis for supporting uh, the survey development and this um, slide presentation. Uh, and we collectively thank uh, ISMAP for their support in reviewing uh, the questions in the survey and helping us disseminate this. 
Um, I'm sorry that I can't be there with you today, but I'm on holiday. So I believe that uh, colleagues from the data sharing working group will now uh, sit on a panel to take any questions and discuss this information. Uh, thank you for listening. <laughs>